एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So in today's video, uh, we will be covering the Cauchy-Riemann equation for complex variable. Welcome to H Chand Academy. Myself, Dr. Nilam. So for more details, you can refer to the book from H Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side, and link is given in the description box. So let us start with the Cauchy-Riemann equation for complex variable. Cauchy-Riemann equations. They are also called as CR equations because of the name. So they are they are also called as CR equations. So first of all, let us understand what is the need of Cauchy-Riemann equation. We have already learned in the previous video that how to establish that whether a function, that is a complex function, is differentiable or not. Now let us come to the next property of the complex uh, function that is called analyticity. So to check whether the function is analytic or not, we need the Cauchy-Riemann equation. So first of all, we will establish the Cauchy-Riemann equation, and then we will establish the relation between analyticity and uh, Cauchy-Riemann equation. So let f z let f z be a complex function so it can be written as u x y plus iota v x y be a continuous be defined and continuous uh, in the neighborhood of in the neighborhood of the point of z equals to x plus iota y and it is differentiable and is differentiable at the point z itself at z itself then the first order partial derivative of this u will exist then the first order partial derivative partial derivative of u and v exist and satisfy and they satisfy the equation u x is equal to v y and u y is equal to minus v x where this x subscript where this x and y subscript stands for the derivative partial derivative with respect to x and y so they can also be written as so they can also be written as del u over del x is equal to del v over del y and del u over del y is equal to minus del v over del x so these two equations together they are named as cauchy riemann equation or cr equations in short so we say that when the function given function is a continuous function which is defined and continuous throughout uh, in the neighborhood of the point given point and is differentiable at the point itself then first order partial derivative of u and v exist and it satisfies this cr equations as we said in the starting that there is a relation between the analyticity and the cr equations so they are named as cr equations that is the cauchy riemann equations now we say that then function fz is said to be analytic is said to be analytic in a domain d if and only if if and only if it satisfies cauchy riemann equations 
Cauchy Riemann equations. So, this is the relation between analyticity and Cauchy Riemann equations. That is, if the function satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equation, we will say the function is analytic, and if the function is analytic, it will satisfy the Cauchy Riemann equation. So, we will make this thing more clear by taking uh, one example. So, let us say that fz is, is z square. So, uh, check the analyticity of this check the analyticity of this function. So, first of all, we need to separate the real and imaginary part of this given function. So, if z is equals to z square and we know that z is a complex variable that can be written in form of x plus iota y square. So, if we separate the real and imaginary part for this, for we need to uh, simplify this expression. So, x minus y square and plus twice iota xy. So, if we compare both the parts, so this side it was u plus iota v. So, u xy on comparing both the sides, it is x square minus y square and v xy, v xy is 2 and y. We will not write iota here because we are comparing the coefficient for real and imaginary part. So, this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. So, now we will see whether this satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equation or not. So, for that we need to find out del u by del x. So, del u by del x is 2x and del u over del y is minus 2y. For this del v over, uh, for this uh, v x y, we will find out del v over del x. So, this is 2 y and del v over del y, which is 2 x. So, from here we can see that this del u over del x is equal to del u over del y and del u over del y is equal to minus minus of this. So, we can say that del u over del x is equal to del v over del y and del u over del y is equal to minus del v over del x which are the Cauchy Riemann equation. Since the given function satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equation everywhere Therefore, the function fz equals to z square is said to be analytic everywhere uh, because it satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equation. One thing we must remember is that these two equations together they are called CR equations that is Cauchy Riemann equation and for a function to be analytic the function needs to satisfy the both equations simultaneously. If it satisfies only one part and another part is not, then we will not say that the function is analytic. So, this is simple uh, function that is fz equals to z square. We have checked the analyticity. Now, let us take one more example. So, we will take one more example. So, let us say check that is the function fz equals to e raised to the power z is analytic. So, for that we need to separate the real and imaginary part for this. So, fz is fx plus iota y is e raised to the power x plus iota y and we, we can separate the real and imaginary part like this by using the property of exponential and by Euler's formula we can separate this. So, this is e raised to the power x and using Euler's formula it can be written as cos y plus iota sin y. And if we equate the real and imaginary part, so therefore u x y will be e raised to the power x cos y and v x y will be e raised to the power x sin y. Therefore, we will find out whether it satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equation or not. So for that, we need to find out the first order partial derivative. So, we will find out del u over del x. So, it is e raised to the power x cos y and del u over del y. So, it becomes minus e raised to the power x sin y. Similarly, we will find out the first order partial derivative for v. So, del v over del x is e raised to the power x sin y 
and del v over del y is e raised to the power x cos y. So by this expression, we can see that del u over del x is equals to del v over del y. That is, they are equal del v over del y and del u over del y del u over del y is equal to minus del v over del x. Therefore, the given function e raised to the power z is uh, satisfying the CR equations and therefore it is said to be analytic everywhere because there is no point at which it is the, the equations are not satisfying. Since the equations are satisfying for all values of x and y, therefore it is called as that fz equals to e raised to the power z is analytic everywhere. analytic everywhere. So, in this part of the video, we have learned uh, the Cauchy-Riemann equation in short which are also called as CR equations and we have learned the relation between CR equations and analyticity of a complex variable. So, we say that the function is said to be analytic if it satisfies the CR equations. Uh, we, we must know that both the equations, both the partial first order partial derivative that is del u over del x equal to del v over del y and del u over del y equal to minus del v over del x. Together they are called as CR equations and the function needs to satisfy both the equations simultaneously. Then only it is said to be analytic. For more details, please refer to the book from H. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.